Today is the day I get to tell you all the story of Hoku Houdini. What is up guys, it is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today I have a story time type video for you all because I was nominated for the worst day in fish keeping slash turtle keeping slash pet keeping challenge by Tazawa Tanks. So basically I just get to tell you guys my stories of the worst times I've had in my hobby. So I think probably the worst time, um, this is a story from about maybe six months back. I had owned this turtle, Hoku, my Diamondback Terrapin, for about probably maybe six or six to nine months at the time. I'm not quite sure of the exact time, but I've owned him for, I owned him for about six to nine months. And so one day, I just remember I was sitting at my desk working on homework because my desk is like right across and so my desk is kind of like right where you guys are right now and then the tank is right behind me right and so while I was working on homework I just remember on this certain day I turned around and to check on Hoku and look at his tank because that's what I do while I study and Hoku wasn't in the tank so as you can imagine I was freaking out I had no idea where my turtle was he wasn't in the tank I really had no idea how he escaped because as you might see I actually have like this lid this lid is on here so he can't escape all that easily so I just start freaking out I tell my parents I tell my family hey please 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 help me look for my turtle so we like turn the whole house apart looking for my turtle my whole room's a mess um and so it takes a little while but about probably maybe 30 minutes later because it was like a group effort my turtle turns up he's kind of just chilling behind my little rack shelf here where the axolotl is but that was super duper scary and so I put the turtle back in. Now, to be completely honest, I probably should have started the video with, by saying this, but so I've been in like a pet keeping slash fish keeping hobby for maybe most of my life, but I haven't really had like terrible, terrible experiences like a tank cracking or anything like that. But so these are just kind of my stories. They're not super duper exciting. Well, I guess unless you have an escape artist, but anyways, um, back to the story. I found him behind my rack over here like where the axolotl is and so I picked him up put him back in the tank I double checked everywhere to make sure that the tank was completely escape proof because like I said I have the wire on the top so I didn't think he would be able to escape but then a couple months later it's like the same situation doing my homework I turn around Hoku isn't in the tank what is even happening? My turtle is a genius. He's Hoku Houdini. That's why he has this nickname now. He actually ended up escaping three times. I know, I'm sorry. I'm probably a terrible person if my turtle escaped three times and I wasn't able to escape proof. But I guess we all make mistakes. But I luckily we found him again. And every single time we still found him. But it turns out there was a small gap between this um this wire lid there's a small area where the turtle was actually squishing himself through and i mean like he wasn't hurt because just tumbling all the way from the top of this tank all the way to the ground probably could have caused some serious damage so i'm really glad that he is just completely fine and dandy like he doesn't even know what's happening but that is like why it's super duper important to escape proof your turtles enclosures they do it when you least expect it so that is one of my stories is hoku houdini ooh, i'll put it this way hoku houdini escaping his tank and then there's one more i'll tell you guys i guess this is kind of just like the story of every beginning hobbyist so this was when i set up my my first fish tank so it was like my tank i did all the research i did all the reading because i'm a huge reader right and so there's this 29 gallon tank before it was a turtle tank it was actually a freshwater tropical fish tank and so when we were first setting this tank up i mean i read a lot okay and so i knew about the nitrogen cycle i knew you're supposed to like wait a forever in my opinion as that whatever 10 year old 12 year old me setting up this tank or you're supposed to wait before you add more fish so that you don't crash the cycle blah 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 so I had all this knowledge in my head right but I didn't really want to put it into practice I did not want to be patient and so literally the day we set up the tank new tank syndrome happens I go to the pet store what even was that sorry um but we go to the pet store and I pick up a couple fish and I put them in there. So there's just like three guppies or something, or maybe three platies that I put in this tank. But I couldn't be patient. I couldn't just let those fish start cycling the aquarium. 
So I made the mistake of adding more fish. And so over the course of maybe six, the six months it took my tank to cycle, I probably killed a lot of fish because every time a fish died, I would just take it back to the pet store and get a replacement because, I mean, I had this knowledge, like I said, but I didn't really understand how it understood how it worked at that age because I just didn't want to be patient. So it was quite sad now that I look back on it and I feel really, really bad for all those fish that were kind of killed by my impatience and ignorance. I mean, I guess I kind of love having an excuse because I was younger, but even then, I still had that information. But we all, it just goes to show, we all make mistakes, and there's nothing you can do about it. It's just going to happen at some point. So it's just important that you learn from them. So now I know. I just hardcore cycle my tanks. I've learned from my mistakes. I usually seed filter media beforehand and slowly add new inhabitants so that I'm not killing fish. But that's what's important is to learn from your mistakes. And mistake, mistakes. What did I just say? I don't know. It's important to learn from your mistakes and know that everyone makes them. So it's okay. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little story time video. Um, and now I get to nominate a couple people. So I was asking a few couple people if it was okay if I nominated them. Alright, so I nominate Jimmy over at Squisky, Chris from Fish for Thought, and Danny's Aquariums. So now it is your guys' turn to tell us your fish keeping stories. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to drop a thumbs up. Also, pray that Hoku Houdini never makes another great escape again, because that is absolutely terrifying when your pet escapes. So, yeah. I know I said this many times, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Have a totally awesome day. Bye!